Hi guys and gals, um, this is going to be an update on videos that we've made before on the subject of cutting out patterns. Uh, we still get questions from, from, our, from our customers and our viewers about the intricacies of cutting out patterns and why they have problems and why everything doesn't go smoothly. So I'm going to go over this again. Uh, we, we have mentioned it before, but maybe we were remiss and not quite give, not quite given the right details on it. So to begin with, when we're cutting out patterns, this is a pattern. This is a, is, is a ribbon pattern. It's a medium-sized ribbon pattern. And when we're cutting this out, of course, we have a board underneath it and it has a pattern of screws in it. Uh, and that's the purpose of having this pattern. And what we do is we have our router that has this template guide that you can see here. Do you get a good picture of that? Yeah, I'm one? zooming in right now, Dad. Here's another, here's another picture of it, uh, the, of the same thing. And this template guide has got a 3 h diameter on the outside, that's this diameter, and the inside diameter is 275. Now, 275 thousandths, which is slightly over a quarter of an inch. So this is a router bit that we use, and it just fits in that just fine, just enough clearance so that when it's turning, it doesn't touch it. And this is a quarter inch solid carbide, upcut router bit and this is what we recommend for cutting out these shapes it's got a one inch cutting fruit most of the boards that you cut will be three quarter inch and this has got a one inch cutting fruit so you have the capability of cutting the three quarter inch board all the way through now the main thing that I want to stress is we recommend this little DeWalt router for sign carving. We make this, uh, or we recommend this, and I even designed this little base for it. But this is not, this router isn't intended for cutting out shapes. It just doesn't have the power to do it, and it's just overworking the router by quite a bit. So when you're cutting shapes, you don't want to use this little DeWalt DWP 611 we have, well you can see it right here on this base, we have a bigger router that we highly, highly recommend for cutting out these shapes. You can see that it's a, it's a bigger motor than this one, okay? Mm -hmm. It just uh, goes without saying. Now, this is a DW618, and this is the one that we recommend for cutting these shapes. Now, if you have a bigger router, that's fine. But the palm router is not big enough to cut these shapes. It's not intended to cut these shapes. It's only intended to do chamfering and, and light work. But for sign carving, it's absolutely ideal. That's, that's about all we use for sign carving anymore, unless it's something big and heavy and bulky where we have to take a lot of material out. This little DWP611 is just ideal for sign carving. And especially if you use this little this little base that we designed, it's completely clear, it's acrylic and has an oversized hole in it. So that just makes it that much easier, even though this one, this particular one fits on a Porter cable. The DeWalt and Porter cable have the same configurations on the screws. If you have a Bosch or a Rigid, I can still make these, it'll fit the Bosch or the Rigid, but you have to let me know that you want it for the Bosch or the Rigid. So. Now, when we get down to where, let's, let's assume that we have a router in here. And what you're doing is you want to set down with your router running, set down, set the edge of the base. Everything is going. Now, I don't have the router running because I want you to be able to hear what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> we've had a few complaints. And, you turn router on and I can't hear you, Dave. Just speak up. So I don't <laughs> want to speak up because my voice gets raspy. So anyway, when you get ready to cut, you place the edge of the router base down on the pattern. 
then you just drop it like that so that the router bit is all the way through the material then you pull it into the to the pattern and then you start your cut and you start your cut and you do it in a counterclockwise direction okay always when you're making your cut do it in a counterclockwise direction I'm going to stop here and explain why that is when you're when you have your router bit in there your router bit is turning clockwise okay if you try to if you try to make your cut clockwise your router bit has a tendency to wander wander out unless you're really holding it tight it'll wander out away from your pattern when that happens you have to go back and clean up another thing it'll do is if you're coming around if you're really close to the edge of your board here and you're trying to cut and you and you're going in the wrong direction when you come here it could split on you that's the thing about cutting with a with a quarter inch router bit if you're trying to cut a pattern and you're going in a clockwise direction it has a tendency to want to split out on the end so the main thing to remember is when you sit down no matter which where you sit down into it when you pull in to the pattern and you start your cut you do it in a counterclockwise direction and the reason for that is your cutter is going clockwise and when you're going counterclockwise because the cutter is going in a clockwise direction it really pulls it it helps pull the whole thing right back into the pattern so even if you would keep a light touch on it which we don't recommend but even if you did it would still pull it back into the pattern if you're going in a clockwise direction with your with your guide pin then you're pulling away from the pattern so this is very very important when you're cutting these shapes out as you want to be successful with this always when you set into it always have your router and your guide pin on your pattern and you always want to travel in a counterclockwise direction okay that's counterclockwise clockwise is this way counterclockwise is this way so always be around the outside of your pattern and even if you have to go around it a couple times if you if you miss a little bit if you get over here and you and you don't quite follow that that thing you can always go back set back in anywhere literally set back in anywhere go back and touch it up so that's the main thing that that i wanted to stress on this this is the this is the guide pin assembly template okay. guide template guide template right? guide assembly and it comes in two pieces and it fits most most routers when you buy a router most routers have a step in this hole i'll show you in a, in a minute most routers have a step now this is a base that comes on the little dewalt it doesn't have a step you couldn't use this anyway but this one if you look closely, can you zoom in on that, son? I think I can, Dad. Can you hold it, um, uh, tip it up? Yeah, hold it right about there. I think I can zoom in. Yeah, there you get a really good shot of the step in there now. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how this fits in there. See, this fits in that hole, and because it has a shoulder on it, it fits in that hole. Hmm. And it's a, and most routers that you buy have this, have this step in there and have this capability. And then, looking at it from the inside, can you see that, son? Yeah, I got it. Go okay, ahead. Looking at it, then all you have to do is take this this threaded ring that's knurled, put it on that template guide. I'll get it squared away here in a second and show you. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're getting the idea. Yeah, I, I think so, but it it, uh, it fits on there just nice. I guess I could put some WD-40 on there. This is a brand new template guide, and it's there. There, I can hear it going on. No, it's still not. I don't know what it is. So. Maybe you got the wrong ring with the wrong one there. No, it's, a, it's just, for some reason, it's just not. Uh, well, anyway. With this up in the router base, this knurled nut, 
will screw on there and tighten up. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, that's still not tightening up. It may be that those rings are. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take this one back off, son. All right. Try the other ring. Try the other yeah, ring. that's I'll what I'm thinking. Yeah, I went right on. Like they're supposed to. I don't know why that because they, they should be interchangeable. But anyway, this goes on and tightens up. And it and should you, go easily. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It should go easily. Now, if you want to, you can use a pair of channel locks and just snug it up a little bit. But don't you don't have to have it too tight because the chances of it coming loose are slim and none. <coughs> so that's what I wanted to do on this video. I wanted. Now we have other videos that you can refer back to that that I've made on this on this same subject. I think if you refer back to videos number, I think seven, forty one, forty two, and sixty nine those four videos we made on cutting out uh, cutting out uh, shapes if you want to refer back to those you get pick up a little information there but this is it's important that you follow the directions when you're you know if you want to be successful with cutting out these shapes follow the directions that i just gave you and the reasons for them are obvious once you learn it once you know about doing it the reason for it is obvious so that's all I wanted to do on this video. This is just kind of a follow-up video on one that I've already done. Uh, again, this, this template guide is a 3 8 diameter, outside diameter here, so that the quarter inch router bit fits through it. And there's, there's about 10 thousandths to the side clearance, so that if the quarter inch router bit is chucked up into your router, it turns and it doesn't touch this template guide at all. It turns inside of that, and you can use then you can use your your router for cutting out these shapes. That's really all I wanted to touch on this time, guys. Okay, Dad. I, uh, uh, this is uh, this is just a kind of a follow-up video. Stay with us and and subscribe to our channel for for more more of these little friendly tips. Uh, we got more uh, more good stuff coming, so don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. And go to makeawoodsign.com. Uh, yeah, go. To, we have a, we have a website that you need to check out. It's uh, it's linked to to davesigns.com, but it's makeawoodsign.com. And uh, it'll it'll all be in the instructions underneath this video in the yeah, in the description. You see it in the descriptions. We got we got some some more exciting stuff coming up that you'll need to know about that makeawoodsign.com. But in the meantime, kiddies, this is uh, this is just a, an update on videos we've already made, and uh, we think it'll be of help to you. We hope it will be, and we'll see you next time.